Hi everyone, welcome back to my Beach Angel Tarot Shop. I'm here to do my weekly reading. And this week's reading is, as always, is focused on love, romance, and partnership and is for the week of December 27th, 2015 through January 2nd, 2016. And so it's taking us up and into the new year. So happy new year to everyone. And so we're going to take a look with my Energy Oracle, my Romance Angel deck, and my new Dame Darcy deck. So if anyone um, wants to assign their question to one of these decks, uh, go ahead and do that now. I'm not going to place any card amounts on these decks. So I'm going to just let, I'm not going to place any full intention on them. Um, so we're just going to see what comes up. I'm going to use the Energy Oracle first, the Romance Angel, and then the the um, tarot deck. So we're going to go ahead and get started in this moment. Do keep in mind it's a general energies and we're going to see what comes up from this deck. I'm feeling one for here. I know I wasn't going to put any intentions on it, but I, I'm feeling one card from here for this week's energies for everyone. I'm going to go to that one. And we're going to Shuffle and I'm going to shuffle and pull all the cards and see what number we come up with. Okay, there's two there, so I'm just going to go with that. And I'm going to shuffle and focus on this deck and its messages. This deck is beautiful for those that are thinking of getting it. I would highly recommend this deck. Wow. So there's five from this deck. That's eight. <laughs> so eight is important number for this week. Eight is all about abundance. So seeing an abundance of something in partnership. Also eight can be about um, infinite connections. Things that never end. So they kind of go on and on. So the first one is the energy oracle for this week. And we have goddess of the moon. And I love this card because it's always giving me the energy of Yamayai. Which... I have her card up here, um, and it's number seven, so we see a very spiritual number, and the goddess of the moon, so the connection to the moon, and I think this is what I'm getting from this, and for those that watch my past readings, if you haven't, I would suggest going back and watching the last few, there's the reference to the moon, the final moon phase of 2015 was important from what my spiritual guidance has been telling me. And so it's coming up here again. So it's making that connection, making that reference energetically to the moon. Um, and of course, as you know, Goddess Yamaya is connected. To, she is a moon goddess as well. So she's appearing here and she's saying that that is indeed a very important um, you know, reference being made here energetically to the moon cycles. Because we have eight cards in placement, I'm also being guided that the next eight moon cycles you're going to see in continued improvement in relationships. Um, so I do feel there's a, there is a, um, there's a message there too. So I do feel the next eight moon cycles are going to be important, or next eight full moons, so the next eight months, you're going to see uh, an abundance in your relationships of things coming together. Not to say that it's going to take eight months for that to occur, but I feel that you're going to feel a progression and through the next eight months, um, the next eight full moon cycles is what I'm getting from her message here. But definitely that reference back to that last and final full moon of 2015, um, being, you know, it landing on Christmas, it was very magical and it held a very high significance into these very important uh, partnerships, the deep soulmate, um, karmic connections and twin flame partnerships and so it is continuing on for us for this week now the next two romance angels um, cards if you want to assign them you know questions or messages you can do that and again we have five of the um, tarot cards coming up too so the first romance angel is worth waiting for so we're seeing the energy of waiting of divine timing being being important so timing is an issue in this relationship, an energy of waiting is coming up. And I'm just going to kind of leave this up and put these down here. Uh, the next one is wedding, so commitment. So there's a commitment pending in this relationship, but again, that wait is there. So I do feel it's tying into the time frame of the next eight moon, full moon cycles, which would take us into um, eight months in advance. So there's definitely, um, it says this situation involves marriage. 
So there's a marriage pending. There's marriage coming in timing and divine timing for a lot of people that are watching in their partnerships down the road. Not to say that it's going to happen in eight months, but there is saying here that there is commitment. Wedding is not always just a traditional um, wedding in the sense of, you know, how we know it now. But there is definitely connection. There is definitely commitment in whatever way it comes for those partnerships. Um, and that brings up the energy of the void. I've been being guided in my spiritual spirituality that it's all about looking at what works for you in that partnership, changing the tradition um, in the sense, like I said, of traditional marriages that we have now. So however it works for you, however you work out that commitment within that partnership, um, and sometimes these things take time, but making it work for you in, in that way. So we're, we are seeing that same energy coming up here in these two. So we're going to get move to the five tarot cards and see what they have for us. The very first one is the Knight of Pentacles. So I'm just going to show them and I'm going to put them down and then I'm going to let what comes up to me from them. The second one is the Hanged Man. The third one is the Eight of Pentacles. So we do have eight. Um, we have it coming up here and we see the eight circles, the eight moon to me, this is replicating what we just said. It's just repeating, rather, what we just said. The eight circles, the eight, is important coming with this. The the, the weights with the hangman is coming up here. Um, and stability coming slowly towards us. It's, it's just kind of repeating what we've already come out here with. Um, so the fourth tarot card is the Page of Wands. And the fifth one is the Magician. So very beautiful energies here and the wands are of that en the energies of the flames of course um something new coming messages coming about that the magician to me is all about when i see it in a relationship reading it gives me the energy of someone that has all the elements that magical one person for you so if they have all the ingredients um and it's sort of like that you know i know i know the term is always overused kind of twin flame or that other person um, that magical other person, but that we are seeing that here. And we're seeing the magic of the full moon that we've been seeing, or I have been seeing in my spiritual guidance anyway. So that magic is surrounding these eight moon phases, and it's going to continue because we're ending on the magician. So that magic is going to continue through the next eight cycles is what I'm getting. And um, the page of wands indicates that fire, that flame energy, Plus, it indicates new things forming around them. As you can see, he's looking up here at what has grown. So we're seeing new things growing here. We're seeing new um, communication. We're seeing new things coming towards us with this. And it also is, the hangman is also about the weight that we saw in the romance angels. Things kind of being a little bit suspended, but slowly moving towards us. So there may be some progress and some stalled energy, some progress and some stalled energy over the next eight moon cycles coming forward, but we're ending with that magic around the moon where we started. So it was kind of coming full circle here. So this week's reading is kind of repeating what I've been seeing through the last few readings that I've had, only now they're giving me a time frame of eight um, months. Um, things kind of progressing. You're going to see movement forward with this flame energy in relationships coming forward and the magic around them and that commitment. And however it shows up for you, um, again, I feel like that traditional way is going to be found differently for everyone's as a couple um, and, and so making it work for you but you are seeing the black in the background of this couple here so it's coming out of the negative that surrounds um, you know the sense of tradition and I'm not knocking tradition <laughs> traditional commitments you know if that's the way for you that's fine but for some it doesn't work that way and it doesn't look that way and it's not going to look that way moving forward for a lot. So really coming out of any negative connotations that this has brought up in the past and forming something new um, moving forward. And there's going to be a lot of work being done on that um, you know, in the next upcoming eight months. Not to say that it's going to end at eight months, but there, you're going to see a lot of magic around these next eight moon cycles. It's sort of continuing that that last and final one of 2015 uh, spark that magic and we're going to see it continue on very strongly through the next eight so if it hasn't happened for you right here at this one it, you're going to see it I feel by August um, so I hope this has helped I hope this has been a um, helpful reading for those that are tuned in and watching 
I will be posting my January love reading soon, and I will also be posting a January angel reading. Sometimes that ties into the energy of love, but I always leave it open to general messages for my angel reading. So I will see you soon. Happy New Year. Angel blessings. Oceans of love.